help him build him his ZX400 for the past, uh, I don't know, seven or eight months I've been working on building this machine. I don't want to use it for games again because it broke down, but I've put a new motherboard in. But I've still got problems there because I cannot find my reinstallation disk, so I haven't got a disk to reinstall anything. As you can see I've done quite a few modifications with the fans. Six gig of RAM, another fan, a cooling fan, oil cool to cool it down instead of water cool. But uh, I've still got big problems. I've lost a couple of parts while I was taking it apart. And I've had it stored away now for about six months because another computer's breaking down. I've started to work back on this, but I've, there's a few parts I can't find that I um, put aside to put with it. Plus, what annoyed me is I've lost the insulation discs, so I've got nothing to reinstall it at an OS on with it. Because I was going to put uh, Windows 10 on this one. I don't know now, it's a 64 bit so I can't afford a Windows 10 disk probably get off a Windows 7 which seems a shame but there again a Windows 7 that'll work, that'll work but it's I'm still short of cash so even to buy a Windows 7 disk to so I can load Windows 7 is going to be an asshole I've only put one drive in I put a, a one gig drive, one terabyte drive in, um, but I'm just annoyed with all the alterations I've done to this, so it'll run six times faster. You know, and I'm still still part short. I mean, I've spent. I bought the case into the original. I bought the case for sixty pound. <coughs> I put an optical drive in it, built it. I've got the old Nevada, I haven't got another graphics car so I've used the Nevada in it 2000. I wouldn't mind the FX but um, it's money yet again. I've got that one spare so I've used that one. So yet again I've worked all night on this one. Set it up hoping that um, I've still got windows on it to find out for some unknown reason I started it up and because I've used a different keyboard and I hadn't set it to English I wiped the bleeding thing out now I can't find the original disc that I bought with it which was Windows 10 well no, not Windows 10 Windows 7 it was Windows 10 I was going to put on it because I've upgraded it but I can't even find the Windows 7 disc so that's crap me out again, that's really bugging me up. That's what I'm using there at the moment, that computer there, which is driving me crazy. That's another HP. Two drives, and it's got an external drive. But it's no good for games. Okay for on the computer, on the web, everything else. But just no good for games. I mean, this is ideal for gaming which is what I want to go back to and plus because I've hurt my eyesight I'm having trouble seeing things but it's annoying me to think I've lost two little items, well two little items, there are two items there approximately like I've lost the other board which I was fitting in which here as you can see I've got the slot out ready for but I can't find it it's up and it's running, but there ain't, there's nothing on it, there's no windows on it at all. Go into the BIOS, set the BIOS. Somehow, on the hard drive, I wiped out Windows. And I remember putting Windows 7 on it to start with. When I first started building, I put Windows 7 on it. Uh, and I just can't find the disk for love no more now. But we're there, we just haven't got, I mean this would actually work and run 
he put gar um, an OS to put in it. Believe it or not. I mean, I have actually took the hard drive out of that one, put it into this one, and it'll run the hard drive, which is which is on that one, which is the old Vista. It'll run the Vista one. There are a few slight problems, but not enough to stop it from working. But it wasn't built to take Vista. But it will run the Vista quite easily. But it just there's a few niggly things that uh, stop working when you put the Vista hard drive in. But I'm just annoyed to think I haven't got a Windows 7 disk or a Windows 10. I did a small black and blue. I had a Windows 10 and a Windows 7 that I bought. So I bought Windows 10 from my laptop and never used it, but I don't know now whether I actually sold it. I've got a funny feeling I might have sold it. Um, I'm sure I've, I, I can't remember a lot of the money, but I'm sure I must have sold it. But I, c I can't ever remember why I can't find the Windows 7 disk. I found every disk under the sun. I've had these cupboards out where I keep all the computer disks in and I've got about what 70 or 80 disks in there for various computers and I cannot find the Windows 7 I can find Vista XP you name it all the odd OS's even I can even find Puppy Linux on disk but I'll be buggered if I can find Windows 7 or Windows 10. I'm rather annoyed that I've spent all this time and I can't get it up and running. Because I haven't got an OS on it. Now if any of you people out there have got a spare OS disk or a set of disks or a copy, send them me will you please because I ain't got none. But it's a shame because I've done so much work on this and it is a super fast computer for gaming. Oh, that's why I took it, that's why I took it apart originally because I've done a lot of alterations and the graphic card was playing up and I took out the graphic card and put in the, this Nevada 2000 money which was out of another computer which is working fine then I left it for some unknown reason and started using my laptop and the X and the Vista one then I went back to altering some of the things on this to make it super fast but now it's so super fast it don't do anything at all it shows me a picture of HP and that ain't what I'm after so when you're working on your computer put all your stuff in one box so you don't lose a parts like I do quite annoying because I'd fix all this up overnight put everything together got it all working and I had a small black and blue the hard drive had Windows 7 on it because which one was going to put Windows 10 on it to find out it hadn't even got Windows 7 on it it's as blank as the day the hard drive was bought so it's a one terabyte drive with nothing on there at all I put Puppy Linux in it plays Puppy Linux off around just like it was there uh, never like you know like nothing it just didn't even bother the RAM at all put Puppy Linux on it it worked fine but I mean I don't want to run Puppy Linux on a computer like this I mean but I've spent time building this one it cost me enough it only cost me here and there as I've gone along to build it but I've done so many authorizations on it to be cut short on such little items you know it's one of them things isn't it, when you're doing it but I should have put everything in a box instead of in fact I swore everything was in a box but you know you move things around kids move things around and I've not noticed it but that hard drive was in the cupboard and it was marked up Windows 7 and it's just blank there's nothing on it whatsoever yet when I take the one out of the hard drive out of the Vista bang it into here it runs a Vista, it comes up Vista so when I try the hard drive into the Vista machine it shows nothing at all 
feels it's a pure, clean hard drive. So I don't know what I've done with the hard drive unless, which is quite feasible with me, because I've built a lot of external drives because of the amount of videoing I do. I might have over overrun the actual disc and put it into a case and used it as an external drive. Now that's more of a big possibility than anything. That's probably what I've done by mistake. Use the hard drive, put it into a box, and fill it full of crap to keep it off the computers. Now I'm saying that I think that's more feasible than anything. That's probably what I have done because I have got an extra external hard drive so that means I've got seven external hard drives that I've made now I've got eight so that means I've made another which I did make one a few weeks back and just put on the side which I was using to download all my videos and pictures into I think that's what I've done I've used the drive that should have gone into this and put in the external drive because I actually thought I'd left the hard drive in this so I wouldn't do that but it looks as though what I did put the hard drive in the box marked it up but I didn't mark it up as it was for this computer perhaps somebody can help me out with a set of discs or a set of copies they can send me if somebody PM me and let me have a spare set of discs because I have run out of cash I still haven't finished doing what I wanted to do to this. It's a shame because it's only wanting a hard drive and I could actually do a little bit of gaming on there to upload. I mean it's good enough for gaming. Can't believe I've done that but that's what I, I think that's what I did. I didn't leave it in here. I took it out, boxed it up, boxed the other one up thinking there were spare drives and they're not even the one drive was for this so if anybody out there can PM me if they got it if they can send me a spare set of Windows 7 discs that will fit an HP work, work station that would, so if any of you viewers out there watch this and you've got a spare set of discs or a set you can do me a copy of and send me please do because like, this is a workstation HP Z400 workstation that's what it's based on it's just the alterations that I've done to it that makes it a bit quicker so anybody out there that's got discs, discs for a Z400 HP workstation please PM me and tell me if you can send me a copy of all your discs so I can reload this one doesn't matter if it's Windows 10 or Windows 7 I would prefer Windows 7 because I, I know it will run on Windows 7 so if anybody out there can help me please PM me thanks for watching I mean you can see I did a lot of alterations on the CPU and the setup of it and also extra cooling fan inside the CPU which is quite a feat to do this one I mean that was I think that was the hardest part I've done on this was the CPU and the fan settings I stuck an extra fan in at the bottom as well to do that extra little bite because this motherboard <coughs> excuse me all the RAM is on this side on the old motherboard you had two sets of RAM on that side and two this side I've got all the RAM on the motherboard on this side there's no RAM underneath there that's why I altered the CP and put this one in so it would be a lot better but I am still stuck now for a set of this for the OS I mean, I've got a set that I bought off Amazon uh, about 12 months ago, maybe longer than that, it's probably longer than the actual fact. But they were fake, so they never worked. 
and when I, I sat and told Amazon I got my money back well I got credited by Amazon but uh, I never get, did get a set of uh, discs so I just show you the crafty buggers because the, the same people on eBay also use Amazon so you've got to be careful